Hello and welcome back to another episode of Farming Life at La Forge. For those of you who are new here, my name is Laura and this channel is all about our farming lives here in France. episode we are getting ready to bring in all the cattle for winter and um, so the cold weather has just hit it has just gone down in temperature so quick so it's gotten really cold all of a shot um, so we are cleaning out the pens so dad will show you and um, the trailer that he is using for mucking out the pens mom is to disinfect them for germs before bringing in especially for young calves and then I will be bedding them with straw so we'll be bringing in a few cows from across the road that are in calf um, just to bring them here so that when they do calf we can keep an eye on them just all those that are coming um, due date we do bring them onto the main farm here and he will show you the Murphy trailer as well that he will be using for that and he will also show you the pen that he's using and then we will show you a second pen that's on um, still on this main farm but it's just the other side of the highway um, so we have two pens over there so he's going to show you one of them and yeah so i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget that you can subscribe below so you don't miss out on any future episodes and if you do enjoy it please give it a big thumbs up but first dad is going to bring you around and show you the creep feeders so he's putting the creep feeders out now for the calves to start getting them to eat some nuts before they go into the shed i'm uh, holding a few creep feeders here today uh, just to get calves started on creep before uh to go into the shed. Now we only have uh, a couple of buckets of concentrated nuts or cake or whatever you all call it. In Ireland we call it ration. And uh, I'll get them on started on that and after a few weeks when I see them eating that or a few days uh, I'll mix some wheat through it. Nice creep feeder uh, we have five of them on the farm, not all the same make. Uh, it's not be my favourite, but it's very strong. It's very slow. It's very slow to let the grain out. So I might cut that, I'll show you one that I did before. But uh, strong. And we uh, up to the field now where the nine hole bear goes. That's why I keep it on the tractor, and uh, that's uh, that's it. Yes. Okay, this is another creep feeder. Uh, we got two of these new. Again, fits on the main hole there. We had to extend this out because the top link uh, you just have to extend it out to the last. So. So when you are moving it, you have to yeah, lift up the crate, that crate lifts up and it goes, pins down into that hole down there. So, uh, the calves only go in on either end, which is not bad. So here then I put this strap on it, um, stops, um, when I'm feeding maize and rougher meal, It'll jam, so when I feed the maize and meal, I keep this up. I keep this that far up here. So now I'll be feeding just meal, I'll push it back down into that hole there. Uh, we cut them and put them on it ourselves uh, because we do feed a lot of maize in the spring to the stronger spring barn calves. The calves just come in and out here. I kind of prefer that because the cows are not cooking the calves through the back. Okay this is the, the other one. It's uh, 22 foot long and it feeds from both sides. Not because I made it myself but it works way better altogether. Um, it's on the well I have to change the wheels they were all wheels off of the topper that was here. Uh, I have to change the wheels on it this year 
and the trough that I used was on the farm here when I came and now it's gone wrong. Last year I had all mats in it so I have to take get a new trough and just change the wheels. The roof slides back and forth. You pull up these pins and it slides back and forth. Uh, <coughs> the calves go in straight away. Uh, and they, they can all go in and all eat. And it might be a bit wild. I don't go uh, daft on the road with a rotten. The whole lot can come apart if you want. I've only done it once or twice actually. But it goes around the home farm here anywhere I want. And that's usually where the big strong winds are. Uh, one year I had, I took it apart here and just put it across the gateway and used the other field as a, a creep. Uh, it not appear to me at all. It's better the way it is that way. It works well and once they can all go in and out, no bother. Just have to get a new trot now this year. Uh, that trial, well, we were here 14 years, it was about two or three year old when we got it, so I think it's not too bad to get that life out of it. So uh, I might buy a galvanized trot this time and uh, put it into it. It was made to the into the trot and uh, hopefully uh, it will be okay again. So I have to go over here, we're cleaning out couple of the sheds there, well the cabin sheds and where we were fattening we clean out behind where the eat every every once a week or ten days. So we just have to dump this up the in the field. Normally uh, I uh, drive straight out of the shed during the winter with the Mux brother and the 8730 but now I drive the furthest field away we make a stockpile there so when I'm spreading it I get it all done the one day. Not to be going up and the whole way up and down with the um, mux brother. So there's a trailer. We bought that trailer here, brand new. Uh, good trailer, up and over door. Uh, they all have these jacks because over here there's no pickle pitcher. You can know there's a pickle pitcher on that side. And you swing that check around, and there's a little hand, a little hand pump here, and you check it up and down. So very seldom we use that because we have picker pitches on most of the checkers. But uh, yeah, it works really well. Uh, I like uh, the big wheels, and it's high off the ground, so. It doesn't belong, uh, it doesn't drag, it doesn't drag the, the oak and the up and over door is handy as well. So uh, we we'll have a hitch on the back of it as well if we pull another trailer or the digger. So uh, now that's it. Mum is just spraying the pins in the shed. Dad has cleaned them out and now I'm just spraying them to disinfect them. Um, mainly as well to get rid of any bacteria like um, say crypto for scour. So she is spraying this now and then after I will be bedding it with straw as we have done the other three pens in this shed. So now the pen is cleaned out um, so dad is on his way over now to um, load up them cows that are in calf and bring them over and he'll show you the Murphy trailer as well as our two pen. Okay, just across the road done to load a few cattle uh, four, well, four cows uh, three of them close to cabin one, if you remember, she had a ball out so we didn't put her far away from the house but I'll move her on now, she seems to be okay that's our Murphy trailer. Uh, I move it with the when it's slowest. I move it with the tractor. Normally use the Land Rover, but this is handy when 
I have it on the three point linkage so I can lift it up so they haven't much of a climb. Uh, especially in calf cows that'll be always afraid to hurt themselves. So then here we load them up. Uh, fairly handy here. But one section here for loading, two gates, there's all an old piggery. We put that pin up there ourselves. We have seven pins on the farm, just says bringing all the cattle back in big batches. So that's a nice little field there. There's only half an acre. Uh, there's a river beside it, and we have a feeder, and up in the wood there, I don't know if you can see it too well. Uh, we keep some cows there all winter, uh, or sometimes the stock bulls. And they always have water in the lay in there, and they'll be happy as Larry. So, so there's the Murphy Trader. So, we did a bit of um, extra things on it. So, normally, when you open the two gates, when cows back up, we have a hole there just to drop a bear down, but you don't need it here because the gate is again. So we get the bear here now. There. Stop the, the gate from pushing out. Even when the cows are coming down of the shutter. Stop it. So stop the gate going out. That's only a good job. So then the two small gates open. That just goes there like that. So they should run up no bother. This gate then swings in around behind them so they don't come back on top of you. That's the cow there that had the ball out. Go on, hop. Go on, hop. 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 What's that on there? So there's no problem. And it's nice and low. Bit of range. Nice and low, so they're under no stress going up. So <coughs> this is uh, the other pin, and it's in between the three fields. These gates come in two halves here, so you can back up to it with the big trailer. I normally draw with the big trailer over this one, or you can back up here. So the cattle can come in around here and in there. That's usually the way I look at me in around this way and then there's the third field so you have the gap between the field and we give them the habit of going up and down through it so then when we want to nab them in the pen they don't be as panicky about it so that's that for this week's episode i hope you guys enjoyed it um next week we will be showing you the cows who are bringing in cows and calves to vaccinate them so i'll show you how we're vaccinating them with calves so we're vaccinating them for flu and so that's basically what we were cleaning out the pens for as well so i'll show you that and anything else that pops up along the way so make sure to stay tuned for that <laughs>